How's it going, everybody? This is Golden Bolt, and welcome back for more Pokemon White Randomizer Nuzlocke. It's been a while. It's been a long while since we've been here. But um, as I posted on Twitter, we are um, I'm ca currently leveling up Gibbs and Barnaby to be able to do some of the harder dungeons in Super Mystery Dungeon, which is going to take a while, so I didn't want to leave you guys hanging for too long. I decided we haven't been back here for a little while, so yeah, it's been a long time since we've revisited Pokemon White Randomizer Nuzlocke, but uh, yeah, let's get back into it. Last time, if you'll remember, we stopped right outside Relic Castle here in the desert let's head inside and I believe last time we actually caught the Scruffton also hello there oh well we're gonna see who's here in Relic Castle maybe we can replace one of our team members here and all right I don't know if we go with a Mark Maractus we I don't know if I've ever really used one before or anything like that but maybe we'll end up replacing BP because BP does have a typing that's kind of redundant because we have a uh, you know we have uh, a polytoad and all that ploink our good friend ploink and Never mind, the prophet got rid of it, but that's good because everybody is severely underleveled compared to our ploink because dude is like level 30 something and everybody else is in their 20s. But you know, that's what happens, I tend to find when you're playing Nuzlocke. There are two things I've learned about quickstand. If you try to walk through the middle, you'll fall. If you try to run through it, you'll fall. Yeah, it's two very, you know, things you should definitely point out. And, uh, but in this case, quicksand is very, very interesting because it does not, you know, contrary to what you might think in cartoons. <laughs> this guy has a metapod? This psychic has a level 24 metapod. You're dumb. All right. Um, this, the quicksand actually works as warp panels inside this place, teleporting you to different parts of the area, which is pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and use Dragon Rage, he, except he probably has a lot more than 40 health at this point, being level 24 and all that, but, you know, he probably, yeah, I was gonna say, he probably doesn't know anything except Harden. Which means we should probably have somebody like Scruffton or our Cricketune out because they're pretty low level too. And as much as I like using Qrem to just like womp everything, we probably need to level those guys up too. I don't, I don't think we're gonna hang on to BP for too long. We're probably gonna end up replacing him uh, because we have a good strong water type starter. I'm gonna water type Pokemon. I'm gonna do this. Oh yeah, and hashtag Goon. Can't forget about that. The lazily named Pokemon is. Oh no! What's gonna happen? I'm dying. And here's how the LP ends. With us getting sucked to our deaths, but not really, because it just lets us teleport to different parts of the castle. And we get a balm mushroom in here. Uh, yeah, I believe I randomized the items in here. It's been, been it's been a little while. Hopefully we can find something cool in here. What do we got this time? And, <gasps> oh! I think I have to. I think I have to, guys. Miss Magius is one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. I think I have to get that and replace a... Uh, and replace our friend BP with it, though I don't know what I'm gonna end up naming it because I don't really know. I just love Miss Magus. It's got Psy Wave. Oh man. Man, it's got access to some good moves, and I'm sure we've got some good TMs at this point that we can teach it. Oh man, I wanna catch this Miss Magius, dude. I want that because this is technically a new area, so we're gonna go ahead and use our last Great Ball on it. I want this. This is awesome. Uh, I don't really know what we should name it either. Uh. I don't. Uh, oh, didn't catch it. Hopefully, I was gonna say, don't you kill my Scruffton. That would make me very upset. But he only did 15 damage, so it's fine. I wanna, I wanna replace somebody on our team. I don't think we have a Ghost type Pokemon, so that's good. Uh, we'll go ahead and try a Pokeball this time. Uh, hopefully that'll work, dude. I want Miss Magius. I love Miss Magius. All right, ready? Uh, yeah, I know it's gonna have a lower catch rate because it is Miss Magius. You can't affect Scruffton with your, with your lazy attempts. There's try a Heal Ball. Uh, that way it'll be full health, I don't have to use one of our potions on it. Not like it'll matter because it'll go right to the PC. Anyway, it'll awkwardly go into the graveyard, which is gonna be strange and dang it. I would send Krikatoon out, but I really don't know how much our Krikatoon, because Krikatoon has Sing to put it to sleep, but I don't know how much it's gonna, that's gonna actually work. Uh, you know, I'll try another Pokeball, and if that doesn't work, we'll try the Timer Ball, because it's been a good amount of, it's been a few turns, and I bet a Timer Ball would work pretty well now. We'll go ahead and try and catch this. It's not even wiggling once. Come on, Miss Magius. Oh, don't kill my dog. Please. Don't do that to me. Okay, Scruffton is in a lot of danger. Uh, you know what? We'll go ahead and send McTavish out. Uh, because I think that would go that would go over kind of well if we can try and put it to sleep. Just don't do anything that could kill me. Alright, Mc McTavish, sing. Sing with your beautiful voice. It was funny, I was playing Super Mystery Dungeon and I ran into a crick ran into a cricket tune. And he was like, let's talk about my beautiful singing voice or something when I recruited him. And I was like, okay, fine. Good night, Miss Magius. That makes things really useful when we're catching wild Pokemon like that because... Yeah, good night, Miss Magius. Good night. All right, we're going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and use another Pokeball right here. And uh, hopefully that'll work. Because I want to have this Miss Magius. Come on. One, two, three... 
Oh my god, he's sleeping and is in red health. Come on. This is ridiculous. All right, one more, one more Pokeball, and then we're going into the Timer Ball, because the Timer Ball will definitely work if the Pokeball's almost working. But dude, I know you're level 21, but oh my gosh. All right. It's not, it didn't even move once. This is like catching a legendary. It's just a Ms. Maggie's. Gah. All right, you witch. Let's catch you now. Come on, please. Please catch him. I want this. I love this Pokemon a lot. And for people who have been around since, like, my Pokemon Battle Revolution videos, this is gonna catch it. Yeah, I was gonna say, it's a freaking timer ball. Better stupid catch than Miss Magius. So awkward Miss Magius is gonna go hang out in the graveyard with everybody else so the next time we stop by to replace it. This cry sounds like an incantation. Yeah, it kinda does. It's really disturbing. And, of course, we have to nickname it. And I'm going to name him... Uh... Ooh, I don't really know, man. What should we name him? Ah... <sighs> I have no idea. Well, it's like, it's kind of like a wit- oh, I'm naming him Snape. That's what we're naming him. Professor Snape. Professor... I'm gonna actually go with Prof Snape. If we can do that, that's awesome. I'm naming him Prof Snape. Uh, P-R-O-F, and then I want the period, and then we should- no, we can't. Well, I can do- I don't need the- I don't need to have the, uh, I don't need to have the period, but I think Professor Snape is a great name for Miss Magus. I don't- that just, like, came out of nowhere. I was like, well, it's kind of- I was like, think of a Harry Potter person. Professor Snape. Professor Snape was transferred to the graveyard. You would lurk around in the graveyard, you weirdo. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and heal, uh, whoever was almost dead there. Scruffton, I think? Yeah. The Scruffton took a lot of damage from that fight there, but yes, Miss Magus is gonna end up replacing BP just because BP's not a very good Pokemon. Uh, and I already have a water type, and you know how it goes. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and scoot- No, I- uh, Get out- And I, I like how you can make yourself, like, suffer through it, you know? When you're- well, not like suffer, but you know what I mean. You can like go down that quick. I'm literally in the same spot I just found Miss Magius, but I don't want to find another. Oh, Abra. Well, whatever. I'm sure we can do a little. We can try and defeat it with bite. I don't. I think it'll probably just teleport away. But uh, let's try it. Come on, Scruff. Never mind. Bye. I was like, come on, Scruffton, but he did. But it didn't work. Yeah, we've got two very like elegant. Not like elegant, but very like pretentious sounding Pokemon names. We got McTavish and Scruffton. I was gonna name him Scruffington, but Scruffton fit. Uh, I was gonna say, do I have to fight that guy over there? But probably. Um, we got, oh, Beautifly is in here too. That's kind of interesting. I really like, it's weird because I really, really like the designs of, uh, of a lot of the butterfly Pokemon, especially Vivillion, man. I just got, I just started replaying Pokemon Y and uh, was using a Vivillion early on. I don't want to fight this. This is gonna take forever. I know what? Why did- what? Why can't I get away? I know- I mean, I know he's a higher level, but come on. It's a beautifly. Come on, Scruffton. Let's leave. What? Why? What? You weren't even hit, beautifly. You're oh, I guess I did bite you. I was gonna say, why are you using Morning Sun? Please. Thank you. I feel like every time you can't get away, you have to do it twice, for whatever reason. I don't know why, but that seems to be the case. Man, Plank is just so good of a Pokemon. I definitely need to, in between this episode and the next one, off-screen. Uh, a little bit. I don't- let's fight this guy. This being here fills me with magical power. Okay, that's interesting, I guess. Being in a weird tomb of relics. I wonder if you've got a Metapod, too. Cacturn, okay. That's something to be a little afraid of. Uh, grass and dark. Cacturn is a really good Pokemon, man. I actually use one competitively. Uh, I, I really, really enjoy using Cacturn. Yeah, McTavish, go with the Quick Claw. Struggle Bug. I don't think this is gonna do that much anyway. Yeah, it did more than I expected, so that's good. Good job, Cacturn. Or good job, McTavish. I feel like McTavish hasn't seen a lot of seen a lot of uh, time time in the spotlight much. And, ooh, don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But yeah. Um. So what's gonna take forever is like I'm trying to plan out what I want to do with Super Mystery Dungeon next because there's a lot of a lot of legendaries that I want to catch, and I probably want to... My goal, I think, is what I'm going to do with, like, what I did with the other games, is go find all the treasures, like, all the golden things, all the, like, elemental looplets and all that, and then, uh... And then there's a third category also, and then I also want to go and, uh, find the legendaries that you can get. So, and I think... And to do that, I think I want to start out with Cobalion, but I'm going to need, uh, to be, like... I kind of want... <laughs> yes! McTavish going up some levels! I feel like I'm kind of going to need Kabuto. Uh, water and... Well, I don't think we have anybody who's really got... I guess we can just hang out there with with uh, McTavish for a little longer. Um, I mean, I know you're a rock type, but maybe I can put you to sleep and that'll make things easier on me. Nope, of course not. 
Um, but yeah, I want to start with Cobalion in there because I know that he's one that I can get and he's probably one of the easier ones early on. Uh, but there's... It's going to be a really hard... I mean, I tried the dungeon to see how hard it was and we got defeated pretty quickly. And I want to keep using Gibbs and, and Gibbs and Barnaby for that just because I think it would be fun. And uh, I'm going to leech life you, man. Stop sanitizing, it's so annoying. Then, if there's a lot of, like, other wild encounter, or, like, trainers, what? Uh, if there's a lot of other trainers like this, we're probably just gonna end up cutting them, because stupid. But, uh, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of training to get there, and oh my god, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of this Kabuto fight, because it's taking forever. See you guys in a sec. Okay, I had to switch to hashtag goon and take them out. Um, I think we actually have to go down into the quicksand here. Oh no, help me, even though you're standing right there! They didn't even care. They're just like, whatever, man, and they just they just stood right there. I guess we can't... Can we not really go much further here? We might not be able to. If I've got a repel, I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Um, I'm actually not incredibly familiar with the uh, with the castle here. I don't think we have a repel. Do we? Nah. Um, so I'll probably just cut out any, like, wild encounters we have, but I don't think we can actually make that kind of make progress in this part. Um, because... Yeah, I don't... Unless I... Oh, no, you can. You just gotta squeeze through. Hello, sir. You, trainer, you still can't move ahead because there's so much sand. I'll do my best to remove the sand. Give me a second. All right, so I guess we can't go too far into Rally Cave right now. Just take one of them off my hands. All right, so this is gonna give us the cover of the plume fossil. Um, I guess we can't go too far in it. We can just get our fossils right here. Cover fossil will originally give you Tortuga, who is that, uh... Water and rock type turtle Pokemon, and Plume will give you Arch. And normally I take Plume. I actually don't know how this is gonna work in like a randomizer, so I'm gonna go ahead and take Cover because normally I take Plume. Um, and I've never taken, I've never gotten like Caracosta or anything like that before. Can be restored. Yeah, we haven't been there yet. And, oh, I wanted to make it. Oh well. Guess we have to fall through the quicksand one last time. That's okay. We're fine. And then we should probably head out of the desert because Professor Juniper and Charon are waiting for us. Um, Really? In front of the stairs? Dang it! What do we got this time? A magic card. How are you swimming in the sand? That makes no sense, but it also gives us time for McTavish to try and defeat you and get like zero experience, because that's how it's gonna go, because you're only gonna- He knows tackle! Watch out! This magic arb is hostile! Despite the look on his face, he is incredibly hostile. His special attack fell. Alright, keep struggle bugging him. There we go. That's the magic arb we know and love. Using using splash on us, but yeah. Um, if you remember, Professor Juniper and I think it's Charon. It might be the whole crew. I think it's just Juniper and Charon who are waiting for us up top. Um, if we just go straight north, because we took that little route over to get here to the desert resort. So we're gonna take that thing out and get like no experience for it. Thanks for nothing, Magic Arb. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of this godforsaken desert. I don't want to be here anymore because the wild Pokemon in here. I'm literally walking and I'm running into them. Man, what is it with every single Pokemon that we're going up against in this place all having sand attack? I mean, I get that it's appropriate because we're in, like, the desert resort and there's sand everywhere, but still. Like, that's ridiculous. There's so many people who are using sand attack. I guess I don't really need this, but, you know, whatever. Um, maybe running into people on the way back, but I want to head back to where we came from uh, in the last episode. If you remember, it's been a little while, but uh, we got ourselves the fossil, which is our main reason for coming here. And, uh... I don't- I think we fought all these people. No, we didn't! Um, but this guy is avoidable, so I probably will go ahead being with my Pokemon. It makes me happy, even when we're, we're in a, excuse me, bad situation. We'll see what this guy has. If he has a Legendary, I'm gonna throw something. Cause that's just the way this goes, and, okay, just Pikachu. We can take out Pikachu pretty easily, I think. And it's a nice female Pikachu, I gotta say. I really do like the design of female Pikachu with the little, like, V in its tail. A lot of people don't like it, but I'm- I gotta say I'm a bigger fan of that one than actually the normal Pikachu. I would- I would go as far to say that. Oh good, more not hitting, but you're using double team this time, so you're making it on you and not on me. Please make him go to sleep. Please make him go to sleep, McTavish. Please make- if I miss again, I'm probably just gonna miss cause- okay, I was gonna, I was gonna say, I'm probably just gonna miss cause Sing has low accuracy, but still! The fact that everyone's using double team or sand attack is making me want- like, hate- this area is so bad. All right, I just want to get out of the stupid desert. It's not. It's the desert's not like. I just don't like that they have a desert area this early on in uh, in this game. Not that it's a bad thing. I just don't like desert areas so much. Like in uh, Hoenn, that area. You already woke up. God. Jeez. Okay. You woke up within like two turns. I'm saying I'm probably gonna sit here and be un so paralyzed I can't move. 
So we'll probably stop by Castelia just to heal up and maybe grab some more items. Uh, because don't kill. Say please don't kill. I know I'm putting McTavish. McTavish and Scruffton have seen some action in this episode. Are you serious? He's got. Okay, I was gonna say you died a sandstorm. Ha! That's what you deserve. That's what you deserve. And McTavish is level 21. He's like as high level as the Prophet, man. That's good. And almost at the level 22. It's good. We're getting a lot of other Pokemon uh, some screen time, which is awesome. But I have to run back to Castelia for a couple of reasons. One being I want to go get Miss Magius, or Professor Snape, as he is named. Because uh, <laughs> about to cast those evil wizard spells on us. So let's get that. Oh, there's still so much other desert that we have to get through. Yes, hello, people. I remember fighting you before. I don't want to run to you anymore. Wild. Uh, there's so much desert. So much, okay. So we're, we've already been here. I think there's actually, I don't know if we fought, I don't think we fought that guy, but uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and get, I don't know if we fought this backpacker either. But in any case, let's head back to Castelia. I'm gonna go ahead and grab Professor Snape and we'll be on our way back to go meet up with Professor Juniper. So see you guys in a second. Okay, we're back everybody. We just went north, you know, just right out of Castelia. Didn't go left like we went to the desert resort this time. And we've got Professor Snape with us. How's it going, Juniper and Sharon? And they're both up here. How's it going, guys? Hello, Tommy. Come here. Okay, if you insist, sir. Uh, Elisa, ca Elisa called and was asking me uh, all about Electric-type Pokemon, and I thought about you guys. That's why I wanted to see you. Ta-da! Freebies for you! Here, Sharon. You too. And we get ourselves some Ultra Balls, which is pretty nice, actually. Thank you. I just bought a bunch of Great Balls, so I appreciate that. Uh, because this this is the first and last time you see that Pokemon. Okay, I know it might seem strange for me to say this. I'm the one who asked you to complete this Pokedex. Please remember to enjoy your journey. I just got Professor's name, man. I'm gonna enjoy it, enjoy it greatly. Uh, all right. We'll see you later, Juniper. Glad she. It seems the professor gave us a Pokedex as a reason to send us on a journey. At least that's what my mom told me. They wanted us to go out and see the world, so my mom, Bianca's mom, and your mom made a request to Professor Juniper. So have her give us Ultra Balls when we got here. I think I'd like to show the professor my thanks by going to Route 4 and catching some Pokemon I haven't caught yet. Okay, that sounds good. I'm gonna go this way. I'll see you guys. Charon. Alright, so we have arrived here in an all-new town, and it looks like Team Plasma is already here. Gramps, we know you run the daycare. How do we know? Because we're Team Plasma. We're taking Pokemon away from people. They're just not, they're not very subtle about that. Since you work at the daycare, we figured you must have a lot of Pokemon. Hand him over. He's got good reasoning for that. What kind of nonsense is this? Hi, I'm just standing here. Don't worry about me. I don't, I'm not a trainer. Strong like a trainer, please help me. No, I just wear the hat and carry a bunch of Pokeballs. I don't use, uh, I'm not a trainer, I promise. All right, looks like we gotta do battle with Team Plasma. Fine, if we have to. Hopefully we'll find a reason to use Professor Snape this time. Plasma Grunt, uh, what? Why does this keep happening to me? Why am I constantly going against legendaries? Chalk it up, add it to the count. That's another stupid legendary for us to have to go against. Put it to sleep, McTavish, please. Thank you, wow, McTavish is doing great. Um, not that McTavish is gonna be very good against Regice right now, he won't be at all, actually, so we're gonna go ahead and switch him out. Uh, uh, I wish I had a fire type, but we don't. Um, I actually don't know what moves Professor Snape has. I should check moves, not see a summary. You got, like, nothing. Ah, dang it. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch to Goon. That's fine. Um, Professor Snape needs some, needs some ghost moves, man. If I ever find a Shadow Ball TM, or I'll check if I have any TMs right now. But I didn't want to worry about this stupid Regice. Why do I gotta keep going against all these legendaries? It's so ridiculous. It's like every episode, it's like, hey, Golden Ball fights the legendaries. You probably don't know a lot of legendary, a lot of legendary moves. Yeah. Regice Beam. Uh... I don't know why this guy's even worried about having finding a bunch of Pokemon to steal. He just happens to have the legendary Ice Golem with him. Just somehow. He's like, whatever. That's fine. I mean, Goon took him out, so we're good. Uh, I want Miss Magius to have some, to, you know, use something, but he only knows Astonish, so that's super annoying. And good, McTavish at 22. Wants to learn Focus Energy? Uh, nah, I don't want Focus Energy. I just want better bug moves. Uh, we'll go ahead and keep him. Uh, yeah, give up on Focus Energy. Just, you know, raising the chance of- And pit- <laughs> Are you serious? That's what we go to? From 100 to 0. Dude goes from- Professor Snape, go! Dude goes from a Regice to a Pidgey. What a team. What a team you have. You've got- You're ridiculous. My gosh. Alright, Miss Magius. Let's do some work here. Yeah, Miss Magius is such a great Pokemon. I just love the design of it, and uh, it's awesome. If it was if it was gonna be uh, a female, I was gonna name it McGonagall. That would have been funny too, or or some kind of witch-based name. 
Because of the hat. You can't not with that hat. And everybody loves sand attack. It's just the sand attack episode. Like, everybody's using sand attack. Alright, come on, Professor. Professor Snape! Oh, bye! Alright, who are you pulling out this time? Is it gonna be Ploink? It's gonna be hilarious if it's Ploink. Oh, nope, okay. So, if you pull Ploink out, then you just did yourself a bad... Like, that wasn't... That was not good for you at all. I just wanted Professor Snape to get some solid XP, but that just wasn't the case. But this is what you get, Plasma Grunt. That's what you get for challenging my team, man! Ugh, now I gotta fight your friend here. This one, that, this one down how fast. So I think we'd better run. That guy isn't even a freaking doesn't even want to help. He's like, let's hide at the amusement park. All right. Thank you so much. Please take this token of my gratitude. It's a brand new bike. I always planned on riding it around Nimbasa City, but I never ended up riding it. Oh, cool. We got ourselves a nice bike. That's pretty nice. Uh, this guy just gives you a bike. I have a daycare on Route Three. If you plan on, uh, if you have any Pokemon you want to raise, please drop them off. I just came to sightsee, but I got in a lot of trouble. Yeah, you're getting messed up by some ruffians who, you know, are like, let's go hang out at the theme park. Hey, Bianca, did, are you are you doing well after you ran off with that little girl's whatever you saved? Music park, big stadium, small court, and the battle subway. Yeah, there's a lot of cool things. I'm going to see the Pokemon musical. Yeah, we'll probably stop by there, but I want to stop by the stadium real quick because there's some... I don't think this is it. Uh, battle subway, battle and ride. That is pretty self-explanatory. This is Nimbasa City, by the way. Um... Uh, Home of the electric type gym leader. Uh, I don't think that sign's gonna say anything cool like that. Um, and, you know, there's some buildings that we'll probably won't go in right now, but I wanna go up and check out the. I think this is a uh, stadium right here. Big stadium. Baseball, football, and soccer. And it looks like we got a football player right here. We have athletes on our Pokemon show. Excellent work. You can see it at a big stadium and small court, so please stop by. Uh, I believe small court. No, it's the musical place. And, uh, you know, why don't we. G I wanna go ahead and show off some parts of Big Stadium before we end this episode off. Um, because it is pretty cool. Over here, we've also got some... Hey, you know what? We'll do small core for first. This is tennis and basketball in it. And it's basically just like a big area where, you know, you can talk to people here. Tennis players are practicing a small court now. You actually, despite how cool it would be, you can't play... You can't play tennis with any of these Pokemon. But they make use of futuristic war panels, but it is pretty sweet. I guess I'm very, like... You know what? We're gonna interrupt your tennis game right now. I know you're busy. An elegant Smasher's elegant battle. Her tennis partner is probably so upset because, like, they're currently playing tennis right- That's what the person said at the front. That they're currently playing tennis right now, and we just interrupted their tennis match. They don't- e they don't even care. They're just like, oh, whatever. And, like, now it's- now it's not so much of a doubles match anymore, I guess. Sucks to suck. Alright. Uh, maybe we'll even it out and do, like, the- and have somebody on the other team fight against one of them as well because that's that would suck like you're playing tennis like sorry i have to stop you go ahead and play them yourself and you do a poke and i'm gonna do a pokemon battle against this cricket tune dude this has been like the Mc mctavish episode he's doing awesome we're gonna keep up with this leech life action here we're doing great with this like mctavish is just it's just like his show right now it's so funny because i picked him last time i remember and i was just like i probably am never gonna use him but can you imagine how cool it would be to have a high-level Cricketune? Like, I never used Cricketune before, and that's the cool thing about randomizers, is like, you never- you, you end up using a lot of Pokemon you never thought you would. So we'll go ahead and fight another tennis person in here, because, uh, I don't want to interrupt the basketball games, you know. Small court. Uh, and- nice! McTavish! Level 23! That's- that's great. I just want people to catch up to, uh, to Plunk, and I'm also glad- alright. Oh, was it? It was one versus two to begin with? That's so unfair! What? I'm a ball boy who collects tennis balls. You're a Pokemon trainer who collects Pokemon. That's true. Pokemon tennis is wonderful. Players are never alone. Their Pokemon are always with them. So I guess I can't fight you. So I guess you guys were just having your tennis game. Uh, tennis is all about rackets and balls. I was gonna say, if I could have fought her, that would have been so unfair. Like, incredibly unfair, because like... That's ridiculous. She would have just been playing against nobody if we would have, if we would have actually done that. All right, let's go through here and uh, and observe. How's it going? Uh huh. I can copy that play in my next game. Yeah, a lot of people are tennis enthusiasts here, but you know it is Nintendo. I'm not surprised. I watch the practice quietly because I trust the athletes. I don't. They're a bunch of liars. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, so yeah, down there is where tennis is, and yeah, so basically the stadiums just kind of rotate the different um 
different like sort of athletes that you can go up against. Uh, it's pretty sweet actually. Uh, so we've got tennis and I believe it's tennis and basketball here, and you know you've got football, soccer, and something else, and baseball in big stadium, which we're gonna go uh, check out in the next episode. There's a lot of Nimbasa City that we have to see. There's an amusement park for gosh sakes, and there's also a musical that Bianca's talking about, and I'm sure that'll be a lot of fun to check out. I you know how the theater productions tend to be in Pokemon games. But we're gonna end things off here, guys. Glad to be back with uh, Randomizer Nuzlocke, and I hope you guys are glad to see it too. Next time, more exploration here in Nimbasa City. Thank you guys very much for joining me on this installment of our adventure from me to you. Have a very nice day, and I will see you guys next time.